Now you might get a feel from this video that this was made well after the other series on balancing redox reactions and full disclosure it was. The reason why I made this video so much later was I didn't realize until much further along that students were actually kind of struggling with this concept, so I made this video to retroactively help. That said, you might see a few contradictions between this video and the previous video simply because I've updated how I'm teaching material. Now, in the previous video on balancing redox reactions, we only focused on basically ions oxidizing, reducing each other, and using water to balance the reactions. And students always ask me, well, where does the water come from? Well, if you look on these reactions, there's always this little subscript AQ. So we're doing this in water. And the reason why we can add water in H plus however we want to in balancing a liquid phase redox reaction is it's already there. It's, a, it's the solvent. Water dissociates into H plus and OH minus all the time. So we can add it and remove it because we know it's there. But there's an additional way we can make this complicated, and that is to add spectator ions. Now the thing with spectator ions is they don't naturally exist in water. So we can't just say, oh, well, we'll just go grab a water, it'll help balance it out. The spectator ions exist basically to get the ion we're interested in into solution. So if we looked at this first reaction, Mg plus 2 going to MgS. Now I asked you, can you balance this by a half reaction? You'd probably say, yeah, it's easy. We're just going to add two electrons to the mix, and this is going to take us Mg plus 2 plus two electrons because this Mg solid. But now let's say I throw the nitrate in there. Well, what is the nitrate doing? All the nitrate is doing is delivering the magnesium, and it doesn't do anything else. It is truly a spectator ion. It is there for solubility reasons alone. So how would you go about balancing this? Well, you take the same approach you did before. You need to go through and figure out the oxidation states. So if you look at magnesium here, magnesium nitrate, nitrate it's Mg plus 2, and this is Mg going to 0. But nitrate is nitrate. Nitrogen isn't changing oxidation state, and oxygen isn't changing oxidation states. It's basically this problem with nitrates added to balance out the charge on the magnesium. To be more accurate, we put magnesium nitrate in there. We didn't actually put Mg plus 2. So you do what you do before. You'd make sure that you had the same number of magnesium atoms on both sides. Then you would balance the electrons. So in this case, magnesium is again going from plus 2 to plus 0. So we add two electrons. Now your next step is usually to add water H plus. Well actually, if you have spectator ions, you have things that aren't changing their oxidation states, they're just there to keep things aqueous, the next thing you wanna do is balance the spectators. So we've got two nitrates here, we're gonna throw two nitrates here. And then water and hydroxide and we're done. So how does this work for if we have two reactions, if we actually have to balance by half reaction? Well, what you're gonna do is the same thing you've always done before. Go through and figure out oxidation states. So calcium here is in a zero oxidation state, hydrogen is in a plus one. Hydrogen is gonna to go to a zero oxidation state in H2, and calcium is gonna to go to a plus two oxidation state. So our reduction couple here is HNO3, H2. Our oxidation couple, calcium to CA hydroxide. You would balance them like you normally would. We've got calcium plus two, or calcium solid, sorry going to CaOH2, so 0 plus 2, and we've got HNO3 going to H2. Once again, we need to make sure we balance the species that are being oxidized and reduced. We have one calcium on both sides, so we're fine up here. For the HNO3, though, we've got one hydrogen here and two here, so we need to double up to give us two HNO3, plus 1 to 0. Since this is the oxidation reaction, we're going to put the electrons on the right. We're going to keep the electrons on the left down here. We have each hydrogen atom gaining one electron, but we have two doing it. So one times two is going to give us two electrons total transfer. For calcium, we have each calcium atom losing two electrons, and we only have one doing it. So this finishes us with two electrons. Now, this is all we have to do for the half reaction part of this. We don't worry about balancing spectators. We don't worry about balancing oxygen or hydrogen. As written, we can add these two together because we have two electrons here and two electrons here. And in adding them together, we'll get two HNO3 goes to H2 and CaOH. What do we do next? Well, now is where we're going to take the step, whereas before we start with water, now we're going to balance the spectators. So nitrate appears on both sides as NO3 minus 1. This is going to be a spectator for us. It's always aqueous. We've got 2 over here. So now we need to put 2 over here. 
We've got hydroxide on the left. This gives us two additional options. Now here's the trick. Spectator ions, don't worry about balancing the oxygens in them. Because they're spectator ions, they're not going to change the association. Now, if it makes you feel more comfortable, please go through and balance all the oxygens. But if we look at it in terms of the oxygens, we've got six over here, six over here, plus the additional two for the calcium hydroxide. So we need to add two waters to the other side. And this will balance out our oxygens. Now we've got eight and eight. Now we need to balance out the hydrogens. We've got four, two will give us six. On the other side, we've got two, we've got four hydrogens. Two from here, two from here, which means we need two more hydrogens to balance it out on this side. So this is the only complication when you put spectator ions in. They are just simply there to kind of obfuscate what's being oxidized or reduced. All you do is wait to balance the spectator ions until you get to the step beneath the, for the water. So before you add the waters to balance the oxygens and the hydrogens to add the H+, balance the spectators. But in terms of everything else you've done, it's exactly the same. You're going to start out by figuring out oxidation states. If you need to, split the half reactions, balance the oxidizer to species, balance the electrons, and bring them back together. And that's it for spectators.